Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift program and logic tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use HTTP headers. So, as you can see, I already created a project, but my Xcode crashed, so this is my second time recording the video. And uh, on my right here, I have Postman, and basically, HTTP headers are pretty important. So, these are, if I show you the hidden ones, these ones are the hidden ones, and we don't need these, but the one we do need is this one called API token. And you're wondering why I can't just put this in the URL up here. Well, it's because API tokens usually have special symbols like pluses, slash, uh, these equal signs, and those can mess up a URL when they're um, when you're trying to get the URL from, I don't know, a browser or something. So that's why you have to use headers. So this is the main URL, and then this is a header. So I'm going to show you guys how you can add a header into your uh, HTTP request. So the first thing you want to do is create a URL. Um, to do that, we just create a URL string, and then I can just do this. And we'll just copy that. Oh, put that in there. So this is the main URL. Now what we can do is we are going to have to create a request. Uh, and I'll create it var because we're going to change it later on. So URL request. And URL URL and it's going to be uh, non-optional then we can do request or set value and this is the thing which is important so the first thing we need to do up here the first one is the actual API key so if I put that and then I copy all of this we can put that in and now for the HTTP header field this is actually uh, what it's called and this is just API token so if I just do API token. I don't like how it um, does this on multiple lines but there's nothing I can do because if I do that then it just takes stuff away. So yeah and this is basically it. So now this is our request and uh, you can use this request as usual so what I can do is I can just um, create a URL session. So URL session uh, dot shared dot data task and I don't know why but it always messes up on this bit uh, unless it just goes oh okay uh, dot data task and with your request that's the request we have uh, we're going to create data response and error in and if let data equal to data that's just checking and now we can get the JSON string so if let JSON string equals string data oh, that was data uh, data encoding dot utf8 and we can just print this JSON string which should be the same as this so print JSON string uh, iPhone 12 mini okay and oh where is it um, uh, did I print it or wait what Hmm. Right, let me just do an else print error. Uh, let's run it now. There's no error there, so maybe it's here. Oh, oh I hate it's crashed twice already. Uh, okay, well, I don't know what the error is, but this is how you add a HTTPS request. It's probably just something silly, like a API key. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess I can try and quit and then reload. Uh, force quit that, and then uh, open it again. Okay, so let me try and print the error here. I don't know what the error is actually because everything seems to be working. Uh, 
There's no error, so why isn't this working? Oh, I know. Oh, this is so silly. I need to do the dot resume down here. Ah, oh, okay. Whoops, that was dumb. So, if we run this now, we should see the Dacian string over here. There it is. And, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.